Hi guys, you're welcome to a brand new episode of Chica's Corner. My name is Chica. I am very excited to be here. So, it was my birthday on Wednesday. It was an amazing time. I have to be very honest. I felt very loved. People showed, showed me a lot of love. And I didn't know that people liked me that much. I know I, I can be very annoying. I can be very bratty. I can be very snotty a lot of times. But people, you know, came out for me and... You know, but I will be showing that very soon on this vlog. So watch out for that. You'll be seeing it's going to be titled 23 Shades of Chica. You know? <laughs> anyway, today's topic is actually very exciting. I was having a conversation with my friends, I think I think two weeks ago, and Toby asked the question, Are you your type's type? which has birthed today's topic for Chica's Corner. Are you your type's type? So truth is, a lot of people, see I have to cross my leg for this because it's very serious. A lot of people are very obsessed with the idea of type. Um, my type has to be a certain way. He has to be tall, he has to be dark, he has to be handsome, he has to be rich, he has to be... And a lot of times, the types are very, you know, associated with physical attributes, like how he looks physically and spend all that time looking for your type and say statistically i'm drawing this from air by the way one in every 1000 men is your type so it means you have to ditch 999 men to find your type and you go through all the struggles to find your type to find out that you are not his type ha! i'm a mad ass ha, ha! can you hear the word play can you can you my god <laughs> But you go through all of these struggles just to realize that you're not his type. So what do you what do you do then? Do you try to conform to his type or do you want him to settle for you? Because a lot of people are obsessed with the idea of a checklist. Does it does it take that box? Does it take this box? Does it take every box on my checklist? And when you do not get somebody who ticks all that boxes, all those boxes, you feel like you're settling for the person you eventually choose. So what if you find someone that if that ticks all your boxes, but you don't tick 50% of his and he has to settle for you? What do you do then? So a type is basically a mindset that I feel like a lot of people have gotten, gotten accustomed to when you feel like this person is my type, that person is my type. It could be due to like, parental factors, how we grew up, like who the, the relationship goals that we saw growing up, maybe your parents or your sister and their husband um, and her husband, or just, you know, couples that you saw growing up and you just feel like, okay, I won't like that type of person. And it might be like our dating history. You know, sometimes you've dated, when, when you look at all your exes, you can see like a common factor. Like when I look at all my, okay, oh my God, I don't want to talk about myself. Okay, sometimes when I look at people that I've been attracted to in the past, I realize one day, all dark. Hardly ever be, okay, I've been attracted to a fair guy like twice. Okay, down to me, I don't think I have a type, to be very honest. Okay, of recent, I've been attracted to more Yoruba guys than any other tribe. So, I probably could say Yoruba guys, that guys are my type. But I know it's not so true because four years ago, I was attracted to somebody that was very tall. He was really light-skinned. He was evil. But we didn't date. Maybe because he wasn't my type. But I feel like my type has to do more with intellect. I, I'm more mentally... I have a mental type. I, I don't know. Intelligence is my type. Like... Intelligence is sexy to me like when you talk and I feel like I can learn a lot from you I feel like when you're able to teach me a lot of stuff. It doesn't even have to matter the age I just feel like a certain type of way like, okay, that's great. That's good. You're sexy <laughs> And then sometimes when you're not when you someone who isn't typically your type You get attracted to that person and you're like, okay, you're not attracted to that person at first but because you know like he's so sexy like his mind is so sexy i don't know i don't i feel like i'm talking about abstract things when i'm saying this but his mind is so sexy that you feel okay he's so sexy the way he thinks is sexy and you just start getting attracted to that person and your perspective or the, your perception of that person starts to change because of how you think of them because of their mind and their physical looks do not matter as much as it, it was supposed to so 
this type thing, should we just throw it all away? Because I mean, sometimes you 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 you're so focused on a particular type that you miss the opportunities right in front of you. They are amazing guys, they are good guys, but because uh, he's not six feet two, you got you know he gotta be six feet two. He's not like you know he gotta. I'm dark skin. When we give birth to our babies, they have to come out you know slightly light. We can't if I'm dark, he's dark. Cannot walk. Or, you know, he has to be rich. I mean, being rich is a whole different type of type. Like, man, that is, like, that's a, I don't even want to talk about that. Like, that's a different type of type. You might want to say that every girl's type is rich, but I know for a fact that not every, like me, for example, not my type isn't rich. Because I've been with short guys, I've been with tall guys. Okay, now I sound like a whole saying that. <laughs> I've been attracted to fair guys, fair tall guys, fair short guys, dark tall guys, dark short guys, um, um, Yoruba guys, evil guys, Calabar guys. When I was growing up, my type used to actually be really fine guys. Like, it didn't matter the color as long as you were like really fine. But over time, I, and I think that's the same thing with everybody, your type begins to mature and it begins to shift from what you want to what you need. Especially if you've had a certain dating history. If you've dated your type before, like if you've dated your exact type, what you think you needed physically, and he didn't provide your emotional and mental needs, and you feel like you were shortchanged, then you start to look outside your type. I feel like we start projecting our ideals on people. You, he has the perfect physical attributes. Then you start projecting the mental that is needed. I, I remember growing up, I used to like guys that were emotionally unavailable. And I don't know why. I actually, till this day, I, I don't know why. Like, guys that look like bad guys, guys that look like they won't ever like me, guys that look like they won't ever, like, want to be with me. Those were the guy, kind of guys, those, I think that was typically my type. And I'm amazed right now as to why I would want to drag myself through the mud to prove what point. So, at that point, and I think that was 16, 17, 18, like, like, guys, like, when a guy starts to like me, like really like me his ugly starts to show like okay why the hell does he like me why and it's not because i have problems with myself M maybe i did but it wasn't until i met someone who wasn't typically my type like it was someone i would like go for physically but along the lines it just be it just started to make sense and he wasn't emotionally unavailable like I would love. And after that relationship, it just hit me that why would I want to go for somebody who's emotional? That is, that is, you don't understand. I carry myself, I light match, I put it on my body, I light myself, I carry myself, put inside hellfire, you know, just to light it up and continue burning, like burn me, I want to burn. Like why would I, why would I want to constantly put myself through that stress? I don't, I don't know why. So I feel like over time we start to understand what we don't want and we start we start we start getting attracted to what we need. Like if I have like an emotional void and I need someone to fill it, but I just need somebody who to compliment. I don't want to say fill because I feel like you should actually be whole before you meet someone else. So you're not trying to get somebody to fill a void that even you can't fill. That's too much responsibility on one person. If you need like Com you need somebody to compliment you. You should go for someone who will compliment your emotional state, not necessarily physical state. And if you're the type of person to want to do, do like physical, and I'm not. This is not me saying like you should stop having tall, dark, handsome, blah blah rich type. I'm just saying understand what you need. Be able to differentiate. Because you might keep going for the same set of guys and these people will still keep degrading your mental and emotional state. And at the end of the day, you will not gain anything. So give other people chances. Give that short, fair, ugly guy a chance. Ultimately, I think 
we honestly need to get rid of types. And I know types ultimately help you filter what you want and what you don't want. But do not let it be a stumbling block to finding your husband or finding the love of your life. I think it's just societal pressure sometimes, just ideals that we make up in our minds to tell ourselves that, okay, this would be perfect if it was like this. And this would be perfect. I mean, let us just have physically, I mean, emotionally and mentally look by that type of thing. But just don't, don't, don't stop. Don't shut the door on people that are not on your checklist. Because truth is, when you meet people that are on your checklist, you might not be on their own checklist. And Ultimately, go for what you need emotionally, know what you want physically. That's where I'll wrap things up today. That's the end of Chica's Corner today. I hope you have learned something. Please leave type alone. Find the person that will, you know, compliment you. Stop looking for tall, dark, handsome, and rich. But I mean, if that works for you, man, go get it. But don't come and meet me and say, I did this thing. That, that kind of sound mine. They don't like me. I don't know why. I don't know why too, darling. Maybe go for, you know, tall, light, and slightly okay, average looking guy. Maybe you'll be good. But thank you for coming on my show today. Please like, comment, subscribe down below now. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> and please follow me on all social media platforms on at official chica underscore, which is on your screen right now. Thank you very much. And until next Sunday, bye. -bye.